Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. My name is Alyssa and this is Dreaming of the Farm and I am so happy to be sharing a summer farmhouse front porch makeover as well as some gardening and planting. I worked on this video for about two full weeks with my family so I very much hope you enjoy it and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel since I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers and I would be so happy to have you here where I share motherhood, home decor, and lifestyle. All right, let's get into it. Hillary. Hi. Three dark pink, three light pink. We're gonna go these nested baskets this year, but these ones are a little bit too tropical, so we like the marigold ones. I think they're pretty. It's very Dr. Susie. Here comes the fun part. We have no plan. We are gonna put the day lilies in these big urns because uh, day lilies should be planted in full sun or partial shade. And we put these at the bottom of our steps, definitely receives four to six hours of sun. So that should work out well. And they grow big, so we're only gonna do one day lily in each urn. the day lilies in and we are going to add some tunias. I'm gonna do red, white, and blue around. So I'm gonna just make sure I have a patriotic planner. never used this one before but I'm excited so it's called Sun Patience we've only used regular Impatience or New Guinea but these are a completely new type of impatient that thrive in heat and Sun and provide three seasons of full color so full Sun to part shade because I'm gonna pair that with my beach grass over here um, and beach grass needs full Sun so hopefully this works out well I'm gonna do it in this new tall urn which is 
a new friend to our pop collection. down because it's just nowhere near as pretty. But these are the things that I've been collecting. So got this rug from Target, as well as these pillows. I wanted to keep it um, simple because of all the color in that rug. So I went with these white pillows, the Sherpa. I don't even know what you wanna call this, but I love that. Um, I also, from Michael's, grabbed an American flag pillow and an American flag rug. So there's two things happening here. I'm gonna do a very colorful front door, which will take us through the whole summer to like August and then I'm going to do a patriotic side door. My neighbor is moving and she just threw this out. Um, so I'm gonna paint that. I've been wanting to make an American flag palette and I thought that when I do that, I can just paint a few other things because um, I'm in the mood to be patriotic. So I grabbed these from Michaels because my girls love a spinny 
and I got some red, white, and blue flowers. Those are fake. This was a rug I had under our little like sitting area. It's pretty dirty, but I'm going to either put that under one of the mats because I couldn't find um, an under mat. Now this beauty, I'm hoping is going to look really cute um, with that very colorful floral rug I got from Target. This is a old wreath from Magnolia Hearth and Hand. I'm going to use it on my front door and on the side door, keeping it with Patriotic, is this friend I picked up yesterday from Michael. Um, I also like it for like Labor Day because I think it will transition really well into fall, but as usual, I get ahead of myself. So I got two new uh, wall boards. I just got my brave little toaster friend. I'm gonna put fly swatters in him. These fly swatters are from Dollar Tree. I thought that they were a great idea and something you could really easily make, like a really cute gift to possibly give somebody, because if you live in the country, you know how important it is to have a fly swatter and you wouldn't be offended by that. I love this broom. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this or returning this. This is a solar powered light. It gets really dark out here. I picked this up at our tractor supply and I don't always have the best luck with solar. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, so I'm keeping the tags on until I know if that's gonna work for me. My front porch for late spring, early summer. Let me just show you guys um, some of the stuff I am keeping from spring. So I will be obviously reusing the furniture, but I'm gonna be using reusing these vases as well as some of these florals, which I think will tie in nicer. I wish I had like one more floral, like a hot pink. I might pick one up, but that's what we got and I'm choking up because literally the pollen is awful. And that's uh, just the furniture you saw me cleaning earlier. This is so charming. All right, we're gonna move things along to the other side of the porch. So we have been looking for a swing for there, but uh, I'm gonna try the rocker here and we will put the bench back where the bench was. And I'm gonna try these guys here because I really wanna use that bright rug. We have an extra fern that off.
fix these because they're not perfect, but I'm married a man who will fix them whether I fix it or not because I didn't use a measuring tape and he will know. Oh, I got it all done, but I do need to go to the grocery store. But I like how it's looking. I would like to paint this later today. Like this is very beautiful with the fresh mulching. It all looks very summer-esque and it's making me want to have a barbecue. It's like America meets West Elm. All right, well that wraps up another farmhouse front porch video. I hope you will check out some of the others I have on my channel. I actually have one for every season now. We live on our front porch and it brings us so much joy and these are our favorite videos to make. Hopefully this brought you a little inspiration to get outside and plant and enjoy some sunshine this summer. Until next time, cheers.